Hello everybody, uh, it's been a long time since I've done a video and uh, been busy with year-end, wrapping up the year ahead of Christmas to finish off on a high note and uh, we've just gone through Mem Memphis regionals in the States, a couple of interesting decks coming out on top, mostly the fighting types, Buzzwell, Lycanroc and um, Zorok, Lycanroc, but we did see a bit of a resurgence of Galissapod, Garbodor and this Garboda list that we see in front of you is not exactly, I think, the list that was played. This is um, just the list I've been playing. Uh, what you'll notice is that we're not playing the Trash Launch Garboda anymore. We're just playing the Garbo Toxin Garboda. We're not seeing as many item cards in the format, so not getting as much uh, value out of the Trash Launch. It's going for a more consistent uh, build of the deck. We are playing a 3-3 Wimpard Galissapod GX line. Galissapod GX has first impression for a single grass, does 30 and 90 more if this Pokemon became active this turn. Armor press for 100. Uh, also gives you a 20 damage buff, so you do take 20 less damage on the next turn. That's for a grass and a double colorless. And then the GX attack for a grass and double colorless crossing cut GX does 150 and you switch this Pokemon with one of your benched Pokemon. For free retreat, we play one Tapakoka promo with a flying flip, doing 20 everywhere. We play one Latios with the breakthrough, 30 and 30 to the bench. This is really to help us in the Buzzwall matchup. <clears throat> with the choice band, we are doing 60, so that's double this 120. And if we've set up a couple of flying flips ahead of time, we can set up some sneaky knockouts. It just helps with numbers and maths. We play three Tapu Lele for the setup, and we play a 2-2. Garbotoxin Garboda line to shut off abilities. Then for the items, we play two Enhanced Hammer to discard all those special energies that we're seeing at the moment, two Field Blower, one Heavy Ball, which can get us a Wimpard, a Galissapod, or a Garboda, any of those guys. We play one Rescue Stretcher to get our dudes back, four Ultra Ball, and then on the tools, we play four Choice Band and four Float Stones. So just super consistent. And then for the supporter line, we play three Acerola to pick up our damaged Galissapods, put them back down again, and we can then do another first impression. We play two Bridget to help us set up, four Guzma as another way of activating that first impression, four N, and four Sycamore. So pretty consistent, uh, just playing four off counts wherever we can, four double colorless, and six grass energy to round out the deck. So that is pretty much it. Uh, let's jump onto the ladder and get ourselves a game. See what we can show the deck off here in three quick games. We can look for an opponent. And let's see what we find. Alright, so we're up against Psychic and Fighting. So this could be a Buzzwell deck, I would imagine. Buzzwell Lycanroc. Uh, which should be a decent matchup, but let's find out. All depends on the build and what he's playing. Our opponent is calling the coin flip. And we lost the coin flip. And our opponent will go first. So let's see what we start with. We have um, a mediocre start here. Uh, we do have the Bridget and an N. It would have been nice to not start with the Trubbish, but it's not the end of the world. And we see a Carbink. Interesting. Not what I was expecting at all. Close turn to the Carbink and a Sycamore. Discarding an N and a Guzma and a Rescue Stretcher. So that energy will be able to get accelerated back onto the Rockruff. Let's put another Trubbish down. Bridget. Set up and get ourselves two Wimpods and a Coco. All right, and we will pass. Most of our attackers are one energy attackers. This Travish in the front is going to be an issue. Um, but let's see what my opponent does here. He places a strong down here on the bench or the active. We've got the enhanced hammer in hand to put down on that one. And Lycanroc does have a grass weakness. So 
if we can try and Guzma that up, that would be great. The Lycanroc Bloodthirsty Eyes ability is pretty cool, um, acting like a pseudo Lysander, letting you bring up any of your opponent's Pokemon, meaning you can use your supporter for turn to play something else. Um, I really like it, especially with things like Acerola in the format, where you can rather use that as your supporter for turn. So my opponent is going to attach to the active and they're going to Ultra Ball here, most likely getting themselves a Carving Break to start accelerating energy onto the bench. A Regirock comes down. Alright, so Kukui, Regirock, that's 30 onto this. Uh, Power Gem will do 40 and will knock out our Trubbish. So our opponent taking a pretty um, greedy turn 1. I'm going to enhance some of that energy off for now. Uh, I'm going to put a choice band here. And we're going to play an end. Since we have three Guzma in hand, let's hope we can hit an energy. That would be awesome. We hit an energy, not exactly what we want. But, um, you know, it will get us started, I think. Um, let's put that down on the bench. Uh, let's put the double colorless on here. And wheel flying flip, putting 20 everywhere. And let's see what my opponent does. Field blower, getting rid of the choice band. I'm okay with that. We shouldn't be needing a choice band in this matchup anyway. So um, hopefully we can fill that spot now with float stones. Ultra Ball here, discarding a Kukui and a Skylar. Gonna get himself a break, I would imagine. Yep, it comes a carbon break. Um, and what does he do here? Does he have another strong energy to get the knockout on this Coco? Otherwise, he'll be doing 60 if he uses the um, Diamond Gift. Attach a double colors to the bench and a sycamore, discarding his hand and drawing seven new cards. So attachment for turn was to the bench, that means he can only diamond gift for 60 damage. And accelerating two energies, I imagine one onto this rock rough and one onto this. I think he can accelerate two. Uh, two to one of. Okay, so he's gonna attach to the bench. Um I'm going to enhance Hammer off the strong energy. We need to manage our bench size here just because of the Lycanroc. Um, it would have that ability to knock us out if we overbench. So let's put a tool down there. Let's put a grass over here. Uh, let's retreat into the Skillisopod. We will be able to put the Float Stone on it next turn, hopefully. Um, we don't need to play the Field Blower now. We're about to knock this dude out. I'm going to attach... I mean, I'm going to evolve up here. Um, question is, do we want to shut off abilities? I actually think we might. And I think that's what I'm going to do. I think I'm going to turn off the abilities here and we will first impression for the knockout. Going down to five. Get a choice ban off the prizes. And I imagine my opponent's going to promote one of these Lycan Rocks, well, one of these Rock Ruffs. Uh, unless they've got a field blower, they don't have bloodthirsty eyes and they don't have Ridgy Rock either. So Lele's gonna come up. And uh, let's see what my opponent's got here. And Skylar. So no Guzma. What does he get with the Skylar? Most likely a field blower. I would imagine.
Let's see what he gets. I imagine a field blower, but um, I could be wrong. No, a sycamore. Okay, so my opponent might have a bit of a dead hand. Um, no Lele uh, to draw cards, I mean, to find a supporter. So I think what we're going to do here is um, probably take a knockout on this. on this Lele and I imagine we will promote this Carboda going down to three prizes get ourselves a Guzma and a double colorless like rock well, Rockruff comes up. I don't mind if he knocks out the Garboda at this point. Um, I don't want to overbench, so I don't want to play the Lele down if I don't have to. Wow, so he gets rid of two Strongs, so that's three in the discard. And I imagine we are going to see well, a scoop. All right, so he didn't hit the Lycanroc. And uh, that would have been bad news for my opponent. All right, so let's jump into one more game and see what we're up against. All right, we're up against a water uh, fighting psychic. So this is probably something with a Remoraid artillery line. Um, Maybe Buzzwell with Artillery and Max Elixirs. Um, we are going first, so I'm actually going to start with the Wimpod. Uh, we do have the Wimpod ability, and we are going to be able to Lele for a Bridget. Let's press down and see what we're up against. That's another Lycan Rock. So let's uh, Lele here. We probably should have Ultra Balled first just to check that the Bridgets were in there, but there's Bridget. Um, I'm probably going to get a Coco and two Wimpods. Let's get ourselves a Bridget. We will play Bridget. Get a two Wimpods and a Coco. I imagine my opponent's going to corner here as well, so uh, do we want to retreat? I'm okay if my opponent wants us to lay down a few flying flips. That's not the end of the world, and we will pass over to my opponent. Here comes Buzzwall. Strong energy to the Buzzwall. There's a Remoraid. So it is Buzzwell Lycanroc Artillery. And let's see if he's got any Max Elixirs here and a Floatstone. Or a Guzma and Max Elixir. Uh, Regirock. I'm not sure if you want to play the Regirock down. There comes a Guzma. Gonna bring up this Wimpod. Nope. Gonna bring up this Trubbish. Uh, I'm alright with that. Gonna do 50 damage there. Brooklet Hill comes down. He'll get himself another Buzzwall, maybe, or another Rockruff. Let's find out. This is a good kind of mirror of, I suppose, Memphis top four. Um, and we'll see if we can manage. The matchup's a bit awkward. Um, but we see a Jet Punch and 30 onto that bench, Wimpod. So I'm going to enhance Tamaroff that um, energy. I'm going to Ultra Ball away these two. Uh, we're going to hope we hit a uh, White Stone here. We have three in the deck. Let's get ourselves a Galissapod. Put that guy down over there. And 
Wheel Sycamore, this guy in my hand, and drawing seven new cards. There's a Floatstone, uh, unlikely we're going to manage to keep this dude surviving. Uh, put another Velocipod down. And we can first impression for 120 damage. Does my opponent have the Octillery and an Acerola? <coughs> Let's have a look. <coughs> Ultra Ball. Going to get himself a Lele or an Octillery. All right, Octillery. There's a Hyper Ray Buzzwall in the discard, so one of each artwork. And. Artillery comes down. Pity we couldn't save the Trubbish. Um, all my opponent needs here is one, one fighting energy to take a knockout. Um, we will try and get another one down at some point. Let's see what my opponent does here. Did he whiff the energy? Um, does he have a handful of good cards and needs to play Sycamore? Um, energy to the bench. Bloodstone to the active. Alright, so he's going to most likely knock out this Trubbish, but let's see. Maybe he's going to choose to put some damage down here on the Wimpod. It's unlikely, but Never can tell, and an end from my opponent. Alright, so we lose our Rescue Stretcher and our Acerola. Um, I was kind of looking forward to that. We get another Acerola, and we do get a Choice Band as well. Max Elixir to the bench, onto that Buzzwell, putting him at one energy away from his GX attack, which would take a knockout on us. He does target down that Trebish like we thought he would, and uh, I will promote the, but we didn't, he didn't take a knockout, so I won't promote anything. Let's uh, choice band the bench. Um, we're going to have to ace roller this guy up. Let's put another one down, uh, energy over there. Evolve over there. Uh, he's probably going to use his GX attack and take a knockout, I would imagine. Um, but we will first impression for 150. Yeah, there's the energy to the active. An N from my opponent. And I imagine we'll see the GX attack. Now the Buzzwall hits the bench. Max Elixir onto the Buzzwall. This is where Trash Launch would probably be quite good. Um, certainly in this matchup would be fantastic. And we'll probably see a, an Absorption GX coming down here. Doing 250 damage. Floatstone to the Regirock. No energy on the Rock Rough. Knuckle Impact. Oh, yeah, okay. The strong. I forgot about the strong energy. That's unfortunate because now he hasn't used his GX attack. Uh, I'm going to field blower away that and that. Uh, I'll put an energy down here. Uh, I will Ultra Ball away the Sycamore and the Bridget. Getting ourselves our last Galissapod. Put that guy over there. 
I'm going to float stone this one, and I'm going to play an N. Putting my opponent down to three, and me down to six. All right, so let's retreat into this Galissapod, and we'll get a first impression off. Taking our first knockout. And let's see how our opponent responds to this one. Put the float stone on the active so I can retreat it to activate the first impression. Um, we do still have two Acerola left and two Lele to get them. So it would be nice to get a crossing cut in here. Um, if he chooses to field blow off the float stone, that is most likely what I'm going to do. Strong to the active, choice band to the active. Artillery, Abyssal Hand for three cards. And what does my opponent get down here? Imagine looking for a Lycan Rock at some point to take their last prize. I would love another Enhanced Hammer when he played one. And he has still got that GX attack, which would do 120, 140, 170. Enough for a knockout on the Lele. Oh. Now we're faced with some choices. Um, hmm. I'd love to get Trubbish online. Um, I'm gonna have to get rid of the Sycamore. Um, all right, so we've got a few options here. Um, but I think we are in some... what of a troubled situation, but let's just play an in. Trying to save ourselves here. Uh, no Acerolas yet, and now we see them. So we'll retreat here and we will first impression 450. As I said, this is a tough matchup. Um, and here we go energy to the active. Um, 170, 180, just enough for the knockout because of the Regirock. So he will take a knockout on the Skelisopod, going down to one prize. And uh, now we're in now we're in trouble. Do we have anything that can stand up to this guy? Um, 220, why 220? Oh, he just knuckle impacted. So he still hasn't used his GX attack. Um, yeah, I think we're in some serious trouble here, but let's just see what we can do. If we can draw into the... Barber Toxin, we'd be in pretty good shape. And we don't. Well, that's bad luck. All right, let's re retreat into this dude and let's go for an armor press. Going down to two. Pity we couldn't find that Garbotoxin toxin that would have really shut down my opponent. Would have had one card in hand. Uh, no free retreaters. A lot of energy committed already on the field. Um, He's got one strong left and most likely um, four or so fighting energies. We just need to take one more prize. We have a Guzma, we have um, Choice Band. 
so what can my opponent do here? If they've got an energy on any of these rock roughs, those guys would be live at this point, and we would be in serious trouble. Um, keeping my bench size down now because of the fact that he could be using the GX attack on the Lycanroc. Uh, he's going to Brooklyn Hill for nothing. Just checking what's left in the deck. 26 cards in deck should be able to do something. Is he going to go for a Sycamore here or a Guzma? Sycamore, going to discard his hand and draw 7 cards. Alright, so we need to take 2 prizes here. Um, which if you can't get this guy out of the active, we can take. Uh, if he had a strong, okay, so Max Elixir, wow, all right, so if he gets us on the Rock Ruff, yep. Double Colorless, Floatstone, Lycanroc. I imagine that's what he's going for here. And that will take um, his last prize. If we just hit that Garbo Toxin, we would have uh, we would have had it. But into four and two Garbo Toxins in the deck still, but nothing to be seen. We did have no more Ultra Balls left. Here comes Lycanroc. I'm sorry, we're going to bring up this Trubbish, I would imagine. Doesn't really matter. Yep. Close turn to the active. Field Blower. Okay. And then, no floodstone, choice band, okay. Well, that is going to be game then, because we'll bring up this dude, put up this guy, choice band him, put that there, and we can crossing cut GX for the knockout. Switching into our Coco. Alright, so really close that game, and you can see why the matchup looks like it should swing our way, but it's actually pretty close. Um, my opponent didn't get any energy on the Lycan Rocks early enough in the game, and um, if he had a Floatstone, that would have been game over for us. Alright, so that was two quick games with the deck uh, back to back. Uh, nothing too fancy, but I think um, pretty decent matchups to be had. And I hope you guys like it. Um, I will be doing a lucky draw as well. Um, the video will come up straight after this, and we will be drawing for a um, for a GX card, uh, as well as a pack of sleeves. And a dice tin filled with the Guardians Rising dice and condition markers. Um, so keep an eye out for another video. Leave your comments on this one. I will be taking uh, comments all the way back to the middle of November into account for the for the lucky draw. And uh, good luck, guys. And keep checking back on the channel. Now that it is the holiday season, I will be posting more videos. Thanks. Ciao. Big shout out to our sponsors, Ultimate Guard and The Battle Bunker.